just perverted you know, the was, whole point of the whole yeah, deal. It was it was all corrupt. And, that, and that's why uh, the conscience is, the conscience part in it is what really convicts us. That's why the faith okay. is the opposite of that. Mm -hmm. It gives you the obedience to, to do something, knowing you can't keep it perfectly, but you still do it anyway. That's why the scripture tells us in the book of Hebrews, mm -hmm. where it talks about the sword, that's why it says it's a discerner of the thoughts and the intents of the heart. Yep. Because that's intent. what you were speaking about. It's about the intention of it. You know, because sometimes, you know, we go off and, and we may not even know or notice. You know, it may be uh, completely unintentional. Or you or you go off and then you don't mm -hmm. think about it till later. Mm -hmm. You're like, oh, damn. Yeah. And you feel, you feel convicted in your spirit. Okay. You know? Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. It's uh, more on this. Uh, continuing, it says, uh, what shall we? It's like it. But now we are delivered from the law that being dead wherein we were held, that we should serve in newness of spirit and not in the oldness of the letter. But that doesn't mean that the law is done away with. Right. <clears throat> you know? Hey, that's, you show your faith by your works by performing or rehearsing the righteous acts. Exactly. To the best of your ability. Yep, yep, yep. Seven. What shall we say then? Is the law sin? Yahweh forbid. Nay, I had not known sin, but by the law. Exactly. That's what I was mentioning. Yep. For I had not known lust, except the law had said, Thou shalt not covet. Yep. yep. <laughs> I didn't know that's what it was. I didn't know it was a lustful thing until the law told me I shouldn't covet after something else. And my flesh wants that I shouldn't be, but but that's the beauty of this, the hell of the the, uh, the human element of it is still there, but he's gonna change us into where it's a godly element within us. Yeah, kind of. and, and and the law, you know, going back to the point, the law was a big part of us losing our ident our ident identity, not yep. having the law, you yep. know, not following uh, 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 proper proper ways to live to, to conduct ourselves. Well, and, well, so one of the things that we were taught here by our enemies is that the law is done away with. Yep. Yeah. That, that we no longer have to keep the law. Yeah. I think that's, yeah. that's you know? yeah. that, that was heavily pushed on us, you know? And after generation after generation, Jake began to believe that and, and their actions showed forth. Because no, so you figured 50 years ago, our people weren't this bugged out and you know, it seemed like the closer and closer we get to the end, the further and further away our people are from the most high. You know, because before our people, like the scripture said, we had a zeal, even though we were going off in the Christian churches and everything, but we still had a zeal of the Most High. Now our people, they, they don't, yeah, they don't even give a shit. You know, they they just do as thou will, do what they want. They establish their own righteousness. You know, as as the scripture says. Uh, Luke uh, eighteen. Uh, I'm gonna start at seven. The point the eight you were talking about. And shall not Yahweh avenge his own elect? which cry day and night unto him, <laughs> though he bear along with them. I tell you that he avenge them speedily. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man cometh, shall he find faith on the earth? Yeah. And, and if I may <coughs> tie that in with that faith, because we know in, in Hebrews 11, um, <coughs> without faith, without faith, faith is impossible to please the Heavenly Father. We, we must believe that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek, seek him. Okay? Knowing that, that what made Abraham, he showed faith by being obedient. Regardless what he, he asked him a task that who would want to go sacrifice your your, 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 your your favorite son? I'll just say it that way. Okay? He didn't even question. He didn't say why. He just no. he just went up. Go for a walk, yeah. son. Mm -hmm. Get that walk. Get that, get that deck. Mm -hmm. You like know? Our people, they these days, they want to, don't do this, don't do that. We're, you know, we're instructing them on righteousness. Don't sleep with your neighbor's wife. Don't cover that to your neighbor's goods and mm -hmm. don't eat this. And Jake, they, they, or they want to know why, why, yeah. you know, yeah, why, yeah. why? Cause it's not good for you. <laughs> you know, it's sin. That's, you know, it, it, it leads to death. But yeah. our people have been go so far gone away from, you know, who, who, who we used to be. Yeah. We're a holy, we're a holy people unto the heavenly father. All right. Even at our lowest estate, even in these curses, Jake can still, you know, whether it be entertainment, whether it be something in science, invent, Jake still rides to the top. Athleticism. Athleticism. So imagine once we get that, our, our identity back, we begin to uh, walk in the spirit. Man, we're going to be, um, you know, uh, 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 we're going to be Yashala. Yep. We're going to be, truly be the prince of the power. Yep. You know, but now we, 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 we got to come back and that's what we're doing. Starting with the elect, the whole the whole nation will eventually come back, but the elect got to wake up first, you know. 
You got something still? Uh, Actually, I, I got, got a new one. I got a song, right? Yeah, and yeah, I still yeah. got another one. Okay. You got something? No, no, you got it. You got it. I got a little quick It's off Baruch chapter 2. <coughs> and I'll start at 29. Read, read 10 for me after that one. Uh, no, no, yeah, yeah. Baruch 2 and 10, but read 29. You got it. You got it. Okay, come on. This is Baruch 20. Uh, I'll just get yours first. Okay, okay. Baruch 2 and 10. It says, Yet we have not hearkened unto his voice. Uh, yet we have not hearkened unto his voice to walk in the commandments of the Lord that he had set before us. And now, O Lord, power of Israel that has brought thy people out of the land of Egypt with a mighty hand and high, and high arm and with signs and with wonders and with great power <clears throat> and has and has gotten thyself a name as appeareth this day O Lord our power we have sinned we have done ungodly we have dealt unrighteously in all thine ordinances and this is Israel actually confessing <laughs> that they're going off and this is repenting this is what our people need to do now yep. okay we need our people need to repent and, and turn away from sin turn away from the work the wicked ways of this world that's the beginning you know but this is you know our people were once humble you know once once upon a time our people were humble they turned to the Lord they you know they, they show repentance all right they show they were in the spirit of penitence but now our people are so gone so far gone away from that they don't give a shit you know they, they under that spirit of, of really of Esau you, you, like the scripture says you are the you are of your father the devil because they think they, they our people never think that they're going to get judged for their wickedness you know but niggas is getting judged every day but they don't think it's because of yeah, of them the doing evil yeah. the way they live it you know you got it go back you go back, get, get your yeah. verse now bro back in um, Baruch 2 and 29 it says if you will not hear my voice surely this very great multitude shall be turned into a small number among the nations where I will scatter them yeah that's a curse you were scattered amongst these nations that was that was that played a big role in us losing our identity so we're scattered amongst these nations and you got jakes that are born amongst these nations taking on to their <laughs> customs and have no no clue no idea that they're Israelites that they're princes of the power but amongst these nations they know they've been treated like shit they know they they know in their spirit that they they're different even though they may look like these people, yeah. they may, you know, take out of these people's customs. They were born around these people, they, but they know in their spirit that they're different. All right? And we're here to tell you, you Israelite um, foreigners that are scattered amongst these nations, you are different. <laughs> you are princes of the power. Yeah. And you have to come back also to uh, your heritage. Yeah. All right? And that's not just the ones that we call the Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. You Israelites that are scattered. Yeah. You know? You got it. It says, well, I knew that they would not hear me. <clears throat> because it is a stiff-necked people but in the land of their captivities they shall remember themselves and shall know that I am the Lord their power for I will give them in heart and ears to hear and they shall praise me in the land of their captivity and think upon my name that's, that's, that was, that's what your house I did man. Yeah, that, that, <coughs> that we can remember ourselves in our captivity Read Revelation 5, or open the seals, man. He gave us the understanding, he gave us uh, his name and his father's name, you know, you know, you know, you know, and hey, that's a beautiful thing, man. He said, Prophecy um, played out. The, the earnest of the spirit, yeah. you know, that we could uh, perceive these kingdom, kingdom minded uh, ideas and understandings out of the Bible, yeah. and now we're, we're the wisdom of it, we're, we're applying it and using it in our daily lives. To, to advantage the ministry. All right? God, and it was, the whole thing was set up for, um, for us to never remember who we were. Mm -hmm. the, the whole council was to do away with the nation of Israel in the name of the Lord forever. Mm -hmm. They didn't think that that we would once more, uh, the Lord that, that the Lord would once more return the spirit unto us so that we could actually go into the scriptures to the history and remember that oh shit we we're actually the chosen people of God mm -hmm. the whole setup was that that for that to never happen 
but the, it's, it's one thing they can't control is the, the Holy Spirit. They yep. don't have power over that. So when the Lord, it was just, it was appointed for a time for us to finally remember ourselves in the last days to know that we're actually Israel, sons of the power. Yeah, Deuteronomy 30 and 1 in the uh, New Living Translation. Yes. It says, in the future, when you experience all these blessings and curses, yep. I have listed for you, and when you are living among the nations to which the Lord your God has exiled you, take to heart all these instructions. If at that time you and your children return to the Lord your power, and if you obey with all your heart and all your soul to the com so all the commands I have given you today, then the Lord your power will restore your fortunes. He will have mercy on you and gather you back from all the nations where he has scattered you. Right. Mm -hmm. you, uh, you should probably keep reading, but if you want to break that down, he's going to gather us back, man, and he, how are we being gathered back? Through the, through the elect. So all of the Negro, Latino, Native Americans that are actually the children of God, the, the, the Israelite foreigners that are actually the children of God, we got to come back, man. And how do we come back? Somebody get the precept you, you call. Mm -hmm. They're being gathered through the word being mm -hmm. by the yep. It's not us really gathering, it's right. the, the word, all right, through the Holy Spirit that's being spoken through the prophets that's gathering yep. the people, yeah. oh, no, I can't. you know? Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll keep. Yeah, I'll keep yeah, to where, it, um, I think right before seven, I think is where it switches up, yeah. Oh, let me, let me, let me go, let me read it in the KJV uh, real yeah. quick. It says, and it shall come to pass when all these things are come upon thee, the blessings and the curse which I have set before thee, and thou shalt call them to mind among all the nations, mm -hmm. whether the Lord thy power have driven thee. And that's going into how we, in, our, in the land of our captivity, yeah. we will remember ourselves. Because, you know, we always constantly go into the curses that, that are key indicators yeah. that, you know, we're the people. You know, because it said that the, the curse will be as a sign upon, upon, upon us for generations forever. Yeah. Yeah. All right? So it says, uh, and shall return unto the Lord thy power, and shall obey his voice, according to all that I command thee this day, thou and thy children, with all thine heart, just like this, and with all thy soul, then the Lord thy power will return thy captivity, and have compassion upon thee, and will return and gather thee from all nations, whether the Lord thy power have scattered thee, if any of thine be driven out unto the, up, the outmost parts of heaven, we're, we're in the, uh, the, the outmost uh, part of heaven. Mm -hmm. We're in the Western Hemisphere. Yeah. From thence will the Lord thy power gather thee. That's a cut on uh, uh, Ron, uh, Dalton. Mm -hmm. uh, and say that we got to go to Africa to, 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 deliver, to be delivered or, or preserved from the destruction. So the Lord, gonna, he's going he's gonna to gather us from where he uh, driven us. Yeah. He, he's going to do it. It says, and from thence will he fetch thee. Yep. And the Lord thy power will bring thee unto the land which thy fathers possessed, and thou shalt possess it, and he will do thee good, and multiply thee above thy fathers. And the Lord thy power will circumcise thine heart. Mm -hmm. See that? Going, going into the circumcision of the, of the heart and the mind. Right? It says, in the heart of thy seed, to love the Lord thy power with all thine heart and with all thy soul, that thou mayest live. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right. That was it right there? Yeah. Yeah. Talking about the children of Israel uh, that are amongst the heathen being brought back from the uh, from the other nations, yeah. you know, and being coming back into the form of the Israelites. Yeah. Okay. And then this one, um, uh, Hosea chapter one, verse ten and eleven, it says, "Yet the number of the children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea, 
which cannot be measured nor numbered, and it shall come to pass that in 